Gonna be seeing Diddy versus Rob. Uh, last week uh, in winners finals, uh, Slingshot came out on top. However, Dill won the run back in grands in both sets. Yeah, and I, honestly, I love the high variance of Xeno that that would be last week's grand finals, and this week they're playing for him. Yeah, no, it's these uh, players are absolutely crazy, but so is the rest of New York. And Vivian number showing up today and really just showing how excellent the players they are. A little bit of an item swap right there. Uh, Diddy yeah. with a gyro and uh, Rob with banana. I would expect to see a lot of really fun item play this time. Died? Whoa. Not no. quite. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, you have to recover high there. That way Rob can't back air you. Nice poker here right with the up, up air. Yeah, I feel like I'm here, but this is actually a pretty decent matchup for Diddy. Oh, oh, the last hit on the barrels and the ex oh. extra knockback gonna allow Dill to take that stock. Uh, oh, you died! Whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> the banana didn't even hit. This uh, is like this is the duality of man here, where like last set was like numbers and VV living to 180 each, and now people are just dying at 70. Yeah. Okay, I'm honestly really liking this ledge pressure. One thing about Diddy Kong, though, he's able to get some nice, solid, like, hits in. They don't do a lot of damage. So, like, yeah. he's hit Dill, like, 20 times and only done about 78%. Yeah, and the thing is here, one thing you're going to notice with um, Slingshot uh, in his gameplay specifically is how much he monkey flips in, the, in unreactable ranges um, and does so, like, on landing to sort of catch you shielding. Um, and he's so good at mixing that up. Um, I feel like we've got a bunch today. Um, okay. Banana toss. Gonna be able to trigger up Dill. And again, now, uh, Slingshot with the, with the percent lead and the stage control. Okay. There. But uh, Slingshot on the banana, so no follow up from Dill. And now Slingshot has Dill at the ledge. You have to go high. No surprise there. Um, works out for um, Dill. And that forward air, catching that jump in. Yeah. Oh, back in, oh, just on nice. the high recovery. Excellent by Slingshot, not messing around at all. Ooh, but let's see if Slingshot can actually do anything with this lead. It, it, it feels like he's generally ah, pretty up. aggressive to the point where I don't know what he's really going to be doing, even when he managed to get a stock uh, ahead. He still feels like he's trying to get in Dill's face. And that was a questionable banana pull right there. That's how he's going to be enough to get stock. Yes, just barely. Um, and now deal with Gyro and Ham. A, only a little bit of a, of a deficit so far. And he's going to get it right, or she's going to get it right back. Another. Um, with the uh, Z-Drum there. Oh, what a timing. And right as Gyro despawned. Great stuff from the Slingshot. And getting back to stage was pivotal. Now, you know, doesn't have to worry about being trapped in the corner. But oh, you air dodged in and you died. You air dodged in and you died. That was excellent. It wasn't at that high percent. 80, no, that's sweet spot, Rob. That smash that ledge. You super explode. Yeah, you're going to see air dodge in here. Hmm. The panic air dodge in, uh, causing Slingshot to go down there. And Diddy, um, unlike in Smash 4, where Diddy was like a, like a really solid midweight, not nearly as heavy in this game. Um, that was one of the nerfs they gave him in this game. And he goes down, and that is a uh, game one victory and a really solid last stock by... God, uh, I'm sorry. I gotta take a look at that. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, well, he was, he was so perfectly out of range, and then he just... What? What the? Okay, that's like an uppercut. Why is the last hit? You just like, two, ju like, dude, one, go way deep and then just yeah. punch upwards. <laughs> that's a sure you can. <laughs> Why? Why is Rob? Rob is a showdo. Rob is a showdo. <laughs> Rob is big and a showdo. Okay, a little of a gyro coming right there for Gil to get started. Um, Ooh. Ooh okay, try that up, up air. Uh, gyro on deck here and the ledge trap potentially there. Could have been a side B to take the stock. Dill not reacting in time, but the roll and read with the F smash, and okay, not gonna get the the, the kill there. And now uh, Slingshot back to stage with an air. Okay, wanted to, yeah, wanted to grab that gyro for himself, but despawned just in time. Now Dill is put in the corner. The thing is that like Diddy Kong doesn't have that explosive way to just end the stock, especially on a heavier character like Rob. Yeah, I mean, so. we are getting dangerously close to that banana F smash percent, though. Uh, really, now we're definitely at it. Um, however, um, Slingshot putting himself at ledge in the process. 
Okay, the jar coming out, but getting shielded immediately. Back air. Okay, banana going way deep for a slingshot, and that gyro ends up hitting there. Oh, that banana grabbed oh. just in time. Yeah, yeah. kind Enough. of a train slingshot. I was hoping maybe it was a hitbox I could cover him. Instead, it was the hitbox that uh, covered him. Okay, utilizing that uh, laser to get that gyro away. There's still Buffy up B1. The good will stay stock. Not often you see that, but uh, excellent utilization of it by Slingshot to take that stock. Okay, gonna be some damage here. And this is one thing that Diddy Kong does excel at against Rob. His ability to just throw out aerials and just constantly string one into the other. I believe Rob's fastest uh, option in the air is up air. Correct? Yeah, I believe it is up air. Combo that only hits, you know, barely on the side of him and in front of him. You know, to get out of combos, fair is really the only one you're going to be using. And that's not that fast. It's like frame 7, frame 8. So... Ooh, dropping out of that uh, up air right there. Oh, and coming up with the aggressive up air to prevent that uh, banana down uh, air from hitting. And now Jill with a little percent lead of her own. Yeah, I will say that that up air to catch the banana was pretty risky. And if Slingshot was able to anticipate that next time by like Z-dropping and double jumping and then down airing, it could possibly be, you know, a really early start. Okay, getting Jill back off the stage. Allowing that banana to come out once more. Okay, ooh, that banana was still the stage. Did not end up getting a pull there. The wait just a little bit longer. Did um, Slingshot Nair. Good to catch the landing. Banana in hand for Jill. She now has to get back to stage, though. One thing about Slingshot, his advantage state is so, so good. So tough to get back, but the gyro not allowing for the up smash or the back air confirm. Back air on shield. Not exactly safe. Did not go for the back air, but does end up getting one there. That's going to be the stock for Slingshot. Yeah, things looking pretty good for Slingshot at the moment. Although I remember in game one, he got that lead and then Dill just evaporated it in an instant. So Ooh, that roll not getting caught. Ooh. I will say that Slingshot's recoveries have been cleaned up so much for this game, too. Oh wow, that just barely hit ledge and it ends up netting Dilla's stock. The very last frame of that down air hitbox came out, or the back air hitbox came out, and it allowed Dill to convert into the gyro, and she's right back into this game. Oh, look at this movement wow. all over the place, throwing out moves, is he dropping this banana and catching it, being able to you know, managed to snag some of these really important hits onto Dill. 91% now, 100. And just not letting Dill get back down to the floor. Slingshot looking very good in this game. Number two. Yeah, and I mean, they were going back and forth last week, and it looked like that's kind of continuing here. Uh, although, as I say that, back throw putting him off oh, stage. Gosh. This is possibly a disaster scenario. Gets back just fine, though. Now trying to find some way to actually close out That's the it. stock on Dale. That's got to be it. Yeah, that fair not safe on block from that positioning. Didn't get a full punish with that banana F smash. And that's going to be... Did, uh, did he throw it down? Forward. Mm, me thinks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, and, you know, banana forward, F smash, classic kitty stuff. But uh, taking that stock in a big game, too, uh, coming out from Slingshot. Um, had, had, had to uh, really maintain that advantage and did so um, after losing it just a little bit on that last stock. Um, ooh. Wow. Yeah, really an excellent stock right there with the uppie. Um, oh, and the, yeah, the air dodge in from Dill getting caught right before grabbing the ledge. That up B hitbox out big. Dill's expression is really funny. Look at Dill. When that happens, it's rather funny. Um, but yeah, both players ready to go for game number three. We are going to Battlefield once more. Both players like this stage. Um, okay, could be a quick start from um, Slingshot. Going for that banana setup as well. Ah, Gyro. <laughs> Apparently. Gyro is a little more... It doesn't biodegrade as quickly as Banana. <laughs> okay. We're going to put that quick gyro cover. Just not enough getting it right there, does still. Ooh. 
Okay, here's some more damage possibly, but we've already seen that, you know, damage on Dilithi's lower percents, it's nice, but really it's once it comes into the red that it really becomes, you know, meaningful. Those are where the interactions that will make or break the game are decided. Okay, Mount Dil trying to get back to the floor here. Excellent job by Sling Shot to catch the landing with the banana there. Okay. Wow, and that backer on the dash are gonna catch. Banana on stage. Gonna utilize in here is Slingshot. Ooh, but then they're coming down from Dale. Both players at extraordinarily high percents. The jump preserved by Slingshot. Excellent to allow him to get right back to the stage. Okay. Beer reverses the air. Oh, okay. excellent read on the air dodge by Slingshot. Gonna take that stock. Does a little dash dance, and we're going right into the next stock. And that's <laughs> not Whoa! enough to get the excellent DI I figured right there. Yeah, it's gonna have to be a situation where you get the DI to live, and Slingshot does end up living. Nice mash out. The question is whether he can get any real meaning. This is a big punish. Credit. Oh, yeah, that is a nice punish. 44%, not bad at all. Okay. A um, little bit of extra code already on the deal. Forward air on that dash attack. Wow. And uh, Slingshot looking so good right now. But this very well might be it. No, just opting for the back throw there. Recognizing how good Slingshot Smash is. But a up throw I will definitely do it. Yeah, and oh, you see that Dilla's looking for it. But that grab range on Rob is actually really poor. And wow, you're seeing those monkey books that I was talking about. Double dare right there, using the auto cancel window. Okay. All this pressure and Dill, the opening she finds is not enough to actually take out the stock. Oh, wow. That's got it. Yeah, it's a yeah. mega hit. And getting grabbed out of that monkey book right there. Not working out. Dill ready that time around. However, still an excellent position for Slingshot of a huge 110% margin. Wow, and utilizing that gyro very effectively. Wow, and full on reaction to the bananas up there. Had more than enough time to go for that F smash. Excellent recognition. No yeah, jumps are lost. Okay, we're at, just high. At this point, I feel like Dill needs to get some really big edge guard mode to bring this yeah. back into her favor. I, honestly, hold on a second. After I say that, it could just be, you know, solid neutral play for like a minute and a half. Could also make this an even game. Oh, you dead? Oh my gosh. Okay, but they're not being close enough to ledge for Slingshot to get that stock off. That should be it. It's going to be enough. And Dill's take that stock, evening up the stock count. 61% to that 0% margin. Dill with a banana in hand. That monkey people coming out. Allowing Slingshot to maintain stage control. <laughs> Almost going for it. Remember that sneaky little dare. Yeah, Gyro is out. Dill. Oh, and the Gyro actually extended the up air, allowing Dill to get back to stage more safely. That shoot so tiny. Yeah. It's still enough to block the banana, though. I feel like actually down tilt right there would have been like a good answer because, okay, no way to shield. Banana? No, I have lost the gyro in the process of getting grabbed there. Banana out once again, though, for Slingshot. The next banana on the floor will absolutely be a stock. Oh. Up smash! Still not, not enough. enough. Even with, uh, you know, not the greatest of the eye, the battlefield ceiling helping Dill out in that positioning. Wow, the B-reverse banana, so good by Slingshot with the mix-up, oh. but we are at that percent now where Rob can get the stock as well. A back air is enough, and it's going to be Slingshot moving on into loser semis. That's actually, so the set cap between these two for the last four games, it's two and two. Two, two. Yeah. Wow, kind of a nice, a great, a great read, up. knowing that Dill has been jumping out of the corner. You're going to see an excellent jump back air read by Slingshot. Obviously, it is fairly safe regardless. Could have actually even been going for Banana there. Um, but it's going to be a clutch stock taken by Slingshot to win the set and move further into bracket. And not only that, I want to give you a quick reminder. A rematch coming up. Mono versus Slingshot coming up next. And that is a rematch of Winner's Quarters.